Hi everyone, T. Morris here with a five minute paranormal that goes behind the scenes on how we schedule some of the incredible locations that we bring you. It's not always easy when taking your first steps into paranormal investigation to book locations for filming. It's one thing to be Paranormal Quest, Project Fear, or even Amy's Crypt. A few phone calls and a quick swap of YouTube statistics and boom, you've got a place booked. But if you don't have those kind of numbers or even previous investigations to show people how your team works in the field, how do you secure a site to film an investigation? Just to be clear, this is our approach, but we'd love to hear from you on how you secure locations for investigations. Let us know in the comments below. And while visiting, make sure to like the episode and subscribe to the channel, enabling notifications for whenever we put up new content. All those interactions, and those interactions now include membership to our channel, help us out in so many ways at Old Spirits. They do, don't they, Benedict? Mm. As you have heard us say again and again, access to properties is everything when hosting an investigation. And if you don't have that, it's trespassing. And in the United States, that's breaking the law. Here's what we recommend at OSI when it comes to booking locations for filming an investigation. Tip one. Consider attending public events. Popularity for public events has been on the rise since the end of the pandemic and can sometimes be available all year round. Before committing to such an event, it's a good idea to ask how many will be in attendance. As you are taking part in a public event, remember, you will have no say in crowd control. That will impact your findings. Tip 2. Look for properties open to paranormal investigations. There are many locations that offer property rentals specifically for paranormal investigation, like the old hospital on College Hill, Pennhurst Asylum, Sweet Springs Sanatorium, and the West Virginia State Penitentiary, to name a few. Some of these locations are quite popular, as in a lot of teams have already covered them, and they appear in a lot of paranormal playlists. But you can find some not so well known locations, such as the Fauquier Historic Jail, the Belgrove Plantation, and Linville Manor, which were active for OSI, perhaps more so as they are not as frequently visited. Tip 3 If you are curious about a property, ask. Let's say you know of a place in your area that you want to investigate. If you have a formal contact, you can query from a business or local government website, send them an email asking about potential interest. Keep your query letter short, but you want to have a formal introduction of you or your paranormal team, a statement of interest that you wish to investigate the property, a request for date and time to investigate, if possible, links to your previous investigations. Don't worry about that last bullet point if you are still building content. That will come. And when you do have a few investigations under your belt, Tip 4. Put together a sizzle reel for you, your team, or your YouTube channel. If you want a property to know who you are and what you do, a sizzle reel can make first impressions very easy. Okay, okay, you might be asking, what is a sizzle reel? Sometimes they're also called demo reels, sometimes they're called hype reels, but a sizzle reel is your greatest hits as a paranormal investigator. The reel should run five minutes or less and features some of your best captures, or if at all possible, a testimony of how you work and what you accomplish as a team. The sizzle reel should be unlisted on YouTube and the link only shared with potential sites in your query email. Approaching potential sites should not be a challenge, but an open professional exchange between you and property managers of where you wish to investigate. Provided you approach a location with the right intent and respect for what remains, you may not only gain access to a property, but build up some terrific relationships along the way that may lead to other opportunities in the future. And thank you for watching. We hope this video helps you in an upcoming investigation. From all of us here at OSI, and that includes Benedict, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field. Won't we? Boop. <laughs>